Apple is finally bringing an all new battery design to their iPhone 12. Apple's MagSafe battery pack is surely to be safer and more efficient for Apple users trying to bring an extra punch to their battery power. Of course, we're here to break it all down with our introduction of Apple's iPhone 12 MagSafe battery pack. Number eight, current rumors. Well-known Apple producer leaker John Prosser has announced Apple may be coming out with a MagSafe battery pack. According to Prosser, Apple is working on a high-end MagSafe battery pack with an aluminum build and a high-quality plastic finish. With that said, the side of the battery case will feature an aluminum finish that is exposed and the front and back are made up of high-quality plastic. If this turns out to be true, the design will complement the iPhone 12 series. Signs of a MagSafe battery pack were first spotted in code in the iOS 14.5 beta, which had a reference to an unannounced battery pack. The name was notable because there is no current product that Apple calls a battery pack as prior Apple designed battery options were referred to as smart battery cases. After code was found in the beta, Bloomberg confirmed Apple's work on a MagSafe battery pack, which has reportedly been in development for at least a year. As for the low end variant of the MagSafe battery case, it will feature a silicone based exterior. In addition to this, the battery case will feature reverse wireless charging capabilities. This will allow the battery case to charge other accessories like the AirPods and the iPhone models that support wireless charging. According to the leaker's resources, Apple is currently experiencing overheating issues with the MagSafe battery pack. Henceforth, Prosser is not yet sure if the company will release it to the public. Number seven, design. The MagSafe battery pack attaches to the back of an iPhone and some of the prototypes have featured a white rubber exterior. Previous smart battery cases have been available in white along with black and bluish pink, so we could see some of the same color options with the MagSafe battery pack. It's likely that the MagSafe battery pack will have a silicone coating similar to Apple silicone iPhone cases. There's no word yet on what size the battery pack will be nor how thick it will be, but again, the smart battery case perhaps gives some clues. All of the smart battery cases had a hump on the back where the battery was housed, so we could see the MagSafe battery pack work in the same way, and it could be the same approximate size as the leather wallet attachment, another MagSafe accessory that goes on the back of a MagSafe iPhone. Number six, magnetic strength. According to Bloomberg, Apple has extensively tested the magnetic strength of the MagSafe battery pack to make sure that it stays firmly in place when charging. The magnetic strength of the product is an often raised concern for first time MagSafe charger buyers. Many feel the MagSafe battery may be too clunky or would just fall off. To prevent any MagSafe failures, Apple has reported that the new iPhone 12 devices are embedded with what they describe as an array of magnets. According to Apple, these magnets are recycled and are around a centered charging coil that can pull up to 15 watts of power, twice as powerful as wireless charging on previous iPhones but on par with phones from other brands. When you bring the charging end of the power cord close to the iPhone's pack, those magnets will pull it into place. The same goes for other MagSafe accessories and depending on what you're clipping on, your iPhone will display a brief animation related to the accessory to confirm that it's locked on. Number five, charging speed. A MagSafe battery pack would perhaps charge the iPhone 12 models at the same speed as a standard MagSafe charger though that's not guaranteed and the charging could be slower because of the lack of a power adapter. The MagSafe charger charges the iPhone 12, 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max at a maximum of 15 watts and the iPhone 12 mini at a maximum of 12 watts. But that charging speed may not be necessary for a battery pack that stays attached to the back of the phone while you're on the go. Number four, development problems. Apple has been working on the MagSafe battery pack since before the iPhone 12 models launched, but Apple has run into software issues that have delayed the accessories launch. Apple's trying to solve an issue that causes the iPhone to erroneously report that the battery pack is overheating. And there are also problems when a user switches between using the MagSafe battery pack when a case is attached and when the case is removed. Many fans aren't surprised there are problems. To those who have owned Apple's previous smart battery cases, there have been issues with some of them. In fact, in 2020, Apple launched a replacement program for smart battery cases designed for the iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR, as some of these cases were experiencing charging issues. Number three, alleged features. Leaker John Prosser, who has a mixed track record when it comes to predicting Apple's plans, says that there will be two versions of the MagSafe battery pack, one of which will feature reverse charging. 
It's not clear what reverse charging means in this context. It may be able to charge more than one device at a time, such as charging the iPhone and the AirPods at one time, or it could refer to the iPhone being able to charge the battery pack when plugged into a lightning cable. Some fans believe the reverse charging refers to powering up the pack through the iPhone itself for later use. While Prosser has quickly become famous and has built up quite the chain of informants within Apple, there's no doubt that he's not always right. However, he recently made headlines for accurately predicting the new iPhone SE weeks before it was released back in 2020. Number two, alternate options. Other companies are developing MagSafe compatible battery pack options. Anker, for example, has introduced the PowerCore Magnetic 5K wireless power bank, which is designed to adhere to the back of a MagSafe iPhone using the magnetic connection. Anker's magnetic power core power bank is not designed using Apple's official MagSafe system and is only able to charge an iPhone at a maximum of 5 watts. There's also Belkin Boost Charge, which fans are raving about. Apple has a history of partnering with Belkin for very high quality accessories and compatible smart devices, so it's great to see Belkin releasing a MagSafe battery pack as well. Note that the pack isn't quite available yet, but the price is set and you can sign up to be notified when it's in stock. This pack holds a 2500 milliamp hour charge with a USB-C and also has those handy LED lights to indicate how much charge is left while you're using it. Companies like these were one of the major reasons that Apple decided to go ahead and develop their own battery in the first place. Apple has always maintained tight control over their products. In fact, many complain that Apple doesn't even want its customers repairing their own products. Varying computer repair shops have fought hard against Apple and their increasingly stringent release of product schematics. That being said, while other competitors will continue to exist, they may not always be as effective or reliable or even safe as they should be. Apple has warned against using non-Apple products with their products. Number 1. Release Date Because of the development issues that Apple has run into, it's not clear when the MagSafe battery pack will be released and Bloomberg has said that there's a chance it could ultimately be delayed or canceled. Many Apple fans are hoping decisions and a new release date will be made soon, but many are starting to think that the entire thing is going to have to be delayed indefinitely. Only time will tell what happens with Apple's iPhone 12 MagSafe battery pack. The reality is, Apple is wary about introducing any accessory that has to do with charging. That's because of the legend of air power. The wireless charging mat that would allow an iPhone, an Apple Watch, and the AirPods wireless charging case to be wirelessly charged simultaneously. It soon became known as Apple's longest vaporware product and was finally canceled 562 days after the wireless charging pad was announced. Apple's wearables and accessories made up 13 billion, or 12% of Apple's total revenue last quarter, and a MagSafe battery pack could prove to be a winner with or without reverse wireless charging. Apple is reportedly looking to add a new MagSafe product for in-car use, but nothing official has been hinted at. The buzz around the water cooler says that Apple will add the MagSage technology to redesigned MacBook Pro and MacBook Air models coming out later this year. For clumsy device owners, an accidental yank of the power cable will detach the power cord from the laptop instead of knocking the MacBook to the floor. What do you think? Let us know in the comments what you think about the potential release of a new MagSafe battery pack straight from Apple. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content. This has been our introduction of Apple's iPhone 12 MagSafe battery pack.